Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you are a student or a fresher and gearing up for data science placements, this video is exactly for you. Data science is one of the most in-demand career fields in India right now and preparing for these placements can both be exciting and overwhelming. But don't worry, today we'll break down everything you need to know to ace your data science placements and land that dream job that you're aiming for. So grab a notebook because this is going to be an informative one. So before we begin, let me quickly share the agenda for today's video. Here's what I'll cover in this particular session. First, we'll cover about the current data science landscape in India. Then we'll dive into the core skills that you need to master for your placements. After that, I'll share a placement preparation strategy with you that will keep you up and set you up for success. We'll also discuss about the placement process, what to expect during tests and interview because it's keep changing year on year. Finally, I'll wrap up with some mindset tips to help you stay consistent and confident throughout your preparation journey. Also, to prepare for any placement, it's essential to understand the field you are stepping into. So let's take a quick look at the data science landscape in India and where the biggest opportunities lie. So data science is being applied across almost every industry you can think of, be it e-commerce, IT, fintech, healthcare, and now even agriculture. So companies like TCS, Infosys, Wipro, and Cognizant are investing heavily in data science. E-commerce giants like Flipkart and Amazon are using this data to drive recommendations and customer insights. Even banks like HDFC and ICICI are building their own AI and data teams to improve fraud detection and customer analytics. And that's not all. Startups like Swiggy and Zomato, which me and you use on a daily basis, are leveraging data science for everything from food delivery optimization to the dynamic pricing. So the demand for data professionals is huge and it's only going to grow by 2025. But as exciting as this sounds, remember that competition is fierce. So recruiters won't just be looking for basic knowledge now. They want someone who can solve real-world problems with data, someone who can demonstrate their analytical thinking and problem-solving skills. And this leads us to our next section, which is about skills you need to develop to get hired. All right, let's get into the most important part, the skills you need to master to stand out in your placements. Now, data science is a multidisciplinary field. So you'll need a combination of technical, analytical, and even communication skills. Here's a breakdown of the core skills that you should have on your radar. Number one is programming languages. And it's always the first one that is Python and R. First up, programming. Python is the industry standard programming language for data science in India and worldwide. Get really comfortable with Python libraries like NumPy and Pandas for data manipulation. Then the libraries like Matplotlib and Seaborn for visualization and Scikit-learn for machine learning algorithms. R is also popular in academic and statistical fields. So having a basic knowledge of R, especially for data exploration and visualization, can give you that extra edge. Number two is statistics and probability. So a very good data scientist knows how to understand and manipulate the data at a fundamental level. And that starts with statistics. So you need to be fluent in concepts like probability distribution, hypothesis testing, p-values, and correlation versus causation. For many recruiters, statistical knowledge is the top priority. So make sure that you can answer both theoretical and applied questions of statistics. Then comes machine learning algorithms. Next, you'll need to be familiar with common machine learning algorithms. Algorithms like linear regression, decision tree, k-means clustering, and random forest are extremely essential. You don't just need to know how these algorithms work, but you also need to know which one to use and why. For example, why would you choose a random forest over a decision tree for a certain data set? So you need to have all those reasoning in play when you're answering in your interviews. Then comes data wrangling and visualization. One of the most underrated skills in data science is data wrangling. In the real world, data is never clean. Trust me on that one. You need to be able to clean, format, and pre-process messy data using pandas. Similarly, visualization is the key for explaining your results. Use matplotlib and seaborn to create insightful visualization that help communicate your findings effectively. At number five, we have SQL and database management. Now, SQL is often overlooked, but it's absolutely necessary. 
most companies will ask you to interact with databases during interviews. So being able to write efficient SQL queries to extract, join and aggregate data is extremely crucial. Then comes cloud platforms like AWS, Google Cloud or Azure. Finally, as a bonus skill, it's great to get familiar with cloud platforms like AWS or Google Cloud. Cloud platforms are increasingly being used in the deployment of machine learning models and while it isn't a strict requirement, having those knowledge of these services like AWS S3 or EC2 can definitely set you apart from the rest of the candidates. Now that you know the skills to focus on, how should you structure your preparation? Let me walk you through a detailed placement preparation strategy that has worked for many students over the years. Number one is start early and build a roadmap. Now, data science is a broad field, so I recommend starting your preparation at least two to three months before your placement season. Break down your preparation into weekly or monthly goals. For example, spend the first weeks mastering Python and statistics, the next two weeks focusing on machine learning and so on. Then comes focus on projects. Theoretical knowledge is important, but in data science, hands-on experience is everything. Build projects that demonstrate your skills. For example, you could analyze stock market trends, create a recommendation system for a movie platform or work on a customer churn prediction model. You can also get ideas for data science projects from a video that is linked in the description or click on the link of the i button above. Your project should be showcased in your GitHub profile so recruiters can see them. Then comes participate in hackathons. Hackathons are a fantastic way to sharpen your skills. Platforms like Kegel and Hacker Earth frequently host competitions. These platforms don't just help you practice, they also help you build a portfolio that recruiters can see easily. Then comes upskill in data science certifications. While certifications are not mandatory to ace data science placements, they are commendable add-ons to your resume, showcasing your expertise to potential employers. Certifications help you learn through real-world experiences in an interactive learning environment. You can also join our job link data science and AI advanced bootcamp at Upgrad and gain the skills what employers are looking for. With a practical industry-aligned curriculum and hands-on project, you'll not only learn from seasoned experts, but also apply your knowledge to real-world scenarios. You can find the link in the description. Number 5. Create a strong resume and portfolio. While applying for data science roles, your resume should be concise but filled with relevant experience. Highlight your skills, projects, internships and any certifications that you have earned. Ensure your resume is tailored to the job description. Maintain a GitHub profile with all your codes and if possible write your projects on LinkedIn to demonstrate your communication skills and the thought process of that particular project. This will not only showcase your technical abilities, but also your ability to explain complex ideas, a valuable trait in any data science role in today's world. If you want to create an ATS friendly resume from scratch, you can check out the video from the top left corner, the I button that is there. Now that you have built a solid foundation with your skills and preparation strategy, let's talk about the placement process itself. Here's what you can typically expect during the data science placements in India. Number one is aptitude tests. Most companies start with an aptitude test to filter out the candidates. This includes usually logical reasoning, quantitative aptitude, basic programming and sometimes data interpretation. The key here is time management. So practice solving questions quickly and accurately. You can use platforms like India Bix for mock tests. Then comes the technical rounds. So once you clear these aptitude tests, the real challenge begins. That is the technical interviews. These can vary in format, but you can expect coding problems, SQL queries and machine learning case studies in this particular interview. For example, you might be given a data set and asked to perform EDA that is exploratory data analysis or build a simple machine learning model or maybe explain the performance metrics like accuracy, precision and recall. So during the interview, make sure to explain your approach and the thought process clearly. Interviewers want to see how you break down the problems and solve them, rather than just coming up to a solution. They are also not just looking for the right answer, but also your problem solving skills. Then comes case study and business problem. So some companies might ask you to solve a business problem or case study, maybe a guesstimate. So for example, they might present a scenario where an e-commerce company is struggling with a customer churn. And you have to suggest how data science can help reduce churn. 
you need to demonstrate your analytical skills here domain knowledge and the ability to think critically then comes the hr and the behavioral rounds so once you have cleared the technical rounds you likely face an hr interview this is where companies assess your soft skills your ability to work in a team how you handle stress and your communication style so be prepared to talk about your projects internships and the challenges you have faced over the years hr interviews may seem easy but they are crucial in determining your fit for the company's culture before we wrap up i want to leave you with some final tips and advice to keep you on track at number 1 consistency is the key preparing for data science placement isn't something you can cram up to into couple of weeks it's a long term process so consistency is critical dedicate a little time each day to study or practice focus on building a strong foundation in both theory and application number 2 don't neglect soft skills while technical expertise is the backbone of data science soft skills like communication teamwork and time management are just as important companies value candidates who can clearly explain their thought processes whether to a technical audience or a non technical stakeholder so practice explaining some complex concepts in simple terms either by writing blogs or presenting your projects to your friends number 3 stay curious and keep learning the field of data science is constantly evolving new tools frameworks and methods are emerging all the time and it's important to keep learning follow industry blogs youtube channels and linkedin influencers engage with the community by attending webinars workshops or conferences whether virtual or in person your curiosity will keep you ahead of the curve number 4 network network and network finally remember that networking is essential attend online meetups follow and interact with professionals on linkedin and don't hesitate to reach out to mentors or alumni who can give you insights or even referrals Building a strong professional network can sometimes open doors to opportunities that aren't even listed publicly. And that's a wrap. I hope you found this video helpful in understanding how to prepare for your data science placements. Remember, the journey to becoming a data scientist is challenging but totally achievable. If you stay consistent, keep learning and practice practice and practice. If you have any questions or specific topics you'd like me to cover in the next video, drop them in the comments below. I love to help you out. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already, and hit that notification bell so that you do not miss out on any upcoming content on data science and career growth. Best of luck with your placements. I know you have got this. See you in the next one.